Hey guys, Ashley D. Will here. I hope you're doing okay. I want to go over briefly the idea about the cocoon and the butterfly. I was using this illustration to help someone the other day and they really, really liked it. And something sunk in a little bit deeper with this illustration. So I wanted to share it with you as well. So we have the cocoon and the butterfly. And keep in mind that this is a slow process that happens over time. And so I want you to be able to identify with this little caterpillar who has been put in a cocoon and is being liquefied. That's what the cocoon, what, what's happening in the cocoon with the caterpillar is he's being liquefied. And so I want you to identify with the process of this and the process of what's going on in the cocoon specifically because that is a picture of sanctification. And that is a picture of what's going on inside of us through these circumstances that we have to pass through to enter heaven. So let's start out with this cocoon. Now the caterpillar has already climbed along and he dropped down on the branch and he started spinning the cocoon around him. Okay, so that could be seen as your salvation experience. But I wanna talk about after he's in the cocoon, this liquefi liquefaction process and how this happens. Normally the Lord um, turns up the heat in your life in some way, at some level, you are conflicted or you are stressed or you are um, just the heat is somehow being turned up for you personally and it is causing you to have to press in deeper to press in closer to the Lord and in this process of turning up the heat he's kind of melting you in some ways he's softening you in some ways he's making you more dependent on him and that's what happens with this little caterpillar if you cut it open at this point or probably right before this point, it would just be a liquid gooey mess. There'd be no no uh, caterpillar and there'd be no butterfly. It would just be messy. And so that's kind of how it feels during your sanctification and when you're going through the hard times and the heat is turned up and you're just, you're losing your mind. Well, you're in the cocoon. But I want to encourage you that liquefaction is a part of the process. You have to go through the liquefaction. The liquefaction here is the sanctification. That's what the Lord is doing. And I want to encourage you in your in whatever form your liquefaction is taking that the Lord is doing a good thing in you. He's doing a good thing in your heart and in your soul and he's teaching you and he's conforming you to the image of Christ. So what happens? The caterpillar comes in and he spins a cocoon and then he's liquefied. And then what happens? All of this time, you don't even know what is happening. You don't even know. But a miracle is taking place because a transformation is taking place inside, inside that cocoon. Over time, the cocoon starts to become empty. Why? Because a butterfly is alive inside there and he's wanting to come out. And so he starts to wiggle around and he loosens himself with the wiggling and the struggling in the liquefaction. You come out of that, you're struggling. That struggling loosens the butterfly from the cocoon. And then he starts to emerge and then he comes out and he starts to wiggle around. And he's like, wow, I really am a butterfly. How can this be true? And then he comes over here and he's like, really starting to sink in that he really is the butterfly and then here he's like man i think i might could even fly and so this is all second corinthians 5 17 taking place if any man or woman is in christ he or she is a new creation is that's present tense verb he is a new creation all things have, old things have passed away. All old things are passing away. Behold, stop, pay attention, open your eyes. All things are being made new and all things are new. Okay, that's what this verse is saying. And this butterfly 
coming out of this cocoon is the new nature in Christ. And that new nature is you. That's who it is. It's you. And so eventually, as this butterfly comes out of this cocoon, it says, wow, I can't believe I'm out of that cocoon. You know, um, I was in there for so long and so many terrible things happened and I was just didn't know if I had any hope left. And I have come all this way and I really am the new nature. The Lord was right all along. I can't believe I doubted him. I really am the new nature. And you know what? I think I'm going to be really brave and I'm going to try to fly. And so that would be the freedom that Galatians 5, 1 talks about is what Christ came to give us. He came to give us freedom from sin, freedom from whatever you need freedom from. That's the whole point. So we've seen sanctification and the liquefaction. We've seen identity taking place with this butterfly realizing that he's not a caterpillar anymore. No, he's not. That caterpillar is gone. Where is it? It's gone. You can't find it. This liquefaction is what got rid of that caterpillar and what started the process. So the emerging by faith takes place as you start to believe that God is really good and he's doing a good thing in you, even though it may not be fun. And you start to believe that, wow, I really could be the new nature. There's a little place in me where I'm thinking, wow, Maybe that's true. That is how you emerge by faith. And then over time, you let go of the cocoon. You don't need the cocoon anymore. See, the butterfly is not flying around. He didn't pull off the cocoon. He's not carrying it around with him as he's flying around. No, he doesn't need that anymore. It was almost like a coffin for him. A coffin where the Lord called him out to new life and he doesn't need that cocoon or that coffin anymore he's just totally let go of it and the more he lets go of it the easier it's gonna be for him to fly around and not be hindered anymore by all different kinds of things that can hinder us and the taking flight happens over time as you listen and follow and believe God's word about you because it's true at the deepest level. It is true. He has done this. He has made you the new nature. And I want to encourage you that is a slow process. It can be discouraging, but I'm here to encourage you and to help you along and to help you believe that everything that the Lord says about you is true. He has made you the new nature. The old things are passing away and have passed away, and the new things are coming and have come. All right, so I hope this illustration is helpful for you in your troubles, in your struggles, and there is a lot of hope because you're in Christ. And that's what you want to be focusing on is the fact that you're in Christ and that he's taking care of everything. All right, so I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.